This is a Game Caviar production. All right, now having in the Game Caviar studios on the uh, week before, the weekend before the big Sony huge, humongous announcement. I'm stuck in a room with my crew. Anyway, this is Saints Row 2, a game that came out before Saints Row the Third, but oddly enough, is better than Saints Row the Third. I'm not too sure why or how that happened. It's not that Saints Row the Third is bad. It's just that this game is is more serious. It has a really serious tone to it. Whereas Saints Row the Third was like you were in damn Playland somewhere. This game is very hard, man. It's, it in Saints Row the Third they made it easier for you to make money and thus get more respect and more guns and more ammo. This game you really have to put in work. So. It's not like you have to, um, it's not like you just walk in and have a bunch of money. And also, one of the things that is different in this game is that you actually have to go to one of your hideouts to collect your money. Whereas in Saints Row the Third, you can just use your cell phone. If you haven't played either one of these games and have no interest in it at all, I totally understand. I'm not making this video to talk about Saints Row, but I just wanted to give you my brief thoughts about it. Anyway, the PS4 supposed to be it probably will be announced next week uh, don't really I don't want to say hundred percent because Sony has had a really bad year and they have proven that they are uh, they they have they they're, they have proven that they are quite capable of underwhelming people so it maybe it's not ps4 maybe it's uh, Vita maybe it's just Vita 2 which is also rumored to be announced alongside the ps4. One of the big things that have been talked about this week is the controller. The controller is supposed to be redesigned. It's supposed to have a screen on it. I posted a a uh, picture to the Facebook page, Game Caviar, facebook.com slash Game Caviar. If you haven't liked that page, please do so. That way you can stay up to date with all of the gaming shenanigans that go on during the week. I can't make a video for each and every single event that goes on in gaming. So what I do is I just post it and on the Facebook page and then we can ch chat about it there. Uh, but yeah, the controller is supposed to be redesigned. Uh, we saw a picture of a prototype. It looked like it was slightly bigger. Something not as big as the Xbox 360 controller, but bigger than the, the current DualShock. A lot of people say that the current DualShock is too small. I myself don't have problems with it. I guess the people who do have problems with it have hands the size of, I don't know, small planets or moons maybe. I don't know. It's supposed to have a screen on it that will resemble uh, loosely or closely resemble the screen on the back of well it's not a screen it's a text pad on the back of the Vita so if you have a Vita uh, the the 50 of you out there who have a Vita I'm counted as one so the 49 of you out there who have Vitas uh, if you flip it over and you look on the back that text screen is actually supposed to be incorporated into the new PlayStation controller on a much smaller scale of course but still who knows what that's gonna be for Hopefully they make it a touch screen like a mini LCD. That'd be awesome. It's going to be pretty bad for uh, for me because I'm going to have to show some constraint because I have been known to throw plenty of controller while playing video games. Not video games, just Call of Duty. But anyway, three games are supposed to be uh, rumored, uh, have been rumored to be revealed: Killzone 4, Little Big Planet, and MotorStorm. I will tell you right now that I only care about Killzone 4. I, honest to God, I hope that they have more than just those three games there. And I honestly, I hope that they have way more games during launch. The launch is supposed to be sometime either at the end of this year or really, really just the end of this year. That's all I've been hearing. So around hol the holiday season or before, I've heard as early as August and as late as December. So hopefully we get all of those questions. I've heard the console, uh, hopefully we will get all of those questions answered. And I've heard the console will be priced around $400. I haven't heard anything more than that. As long as it doesn't hit the old uh, $600 price range that the uh, 60 gigabyte PS3 uh, was priced at when it came out. I'll be fine with $400. I can save for $400 between now and then. And then I'll have like some things to trade in. Video games, other systems, uh, PlayStation Vita. Yeah, things like that. But anyway, 
Please talk to me about it. Hit me in the comment below and I want to talk to you about this PS4 and the excitement. I will be following, I will be covering the event probably on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash not having it and on the Facebook page. So please hit me up and then we'll talk about it then. All right, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I'm about to crack a window because it's hot. I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.